we are back again to have a closer look at the LabDo installer tool to clone images to any donated uh, laptop or computer for the LabDo project. First, you must make sure that your media with uh, the images for cloning are made accessible, are mounted to the computer. Um, as you can see here, we have SDB, the external USB drive, uh, with a minus in front that is not mounted. And just uh, clicking on it will start the mounting process and now you will see there is a plus and the images are visible um, in the file manager. You can also use a network server, a Zamba or Windows server or any other protocol. Um, you can connect here to the server with the images, but we stay with the external disk drive. Now you can minimize the window, start, start the labdo installer. Uh, it will show you the possible target disk. Please check. Typically it's SDA in Linux. Uh, they get letters A for the first drive, B, C, D and so on. Um, you should make sure that it is not your disk with the F uh, with the images for cloning, but SDA in this case is correct. Um, LabDo recommends to shred uh, each disk drive three times to write random data to the disk drive to delete and remove all user data. Uh, in this uh, video tutorial we set it to zero. It, it is, as said, not recommended for the standard case, but it would take hours in our case, so we skip that. Um, and sometimes you get uh, disk drives which were already deleted by certified uh, companies. So you have to decide which procedure is fits best for you. Um, here we have uh, the disk drive, uh, which is available here in this uh, virtual machine. Uh, you can, uh, or you have to select the matching image, mat uh, matching to your CPU and matching to your um, space available on disk drive. Um, here you can see it is a 32-bit virtual box machine. I uh, took here a s small machine. Um, 32 bits and 64 bits are the typical CPUs and you can clone a uh, 32-bit to a 64-bit CPU, but not the other way around. This will not work. Uh, it's more or less like you know from Windows. And if you have a 32-bit machine, you cannot use more than 3 gigabyte uh, RAM. Um, the longer, the more 64-bit laptops will be donated for sure. So here we have to choose the image. Um, you have to navigate to the external disk and here you can see the images which are available. In front you have 32-bit and 64-bit. Um, so we learned we have a 32-bit machine here um, and then we have 1804 which is the actual uh, Lubuntu system. Uh, it changes every two years and then you have the basic images. Here is only educational software pre-installed, more or less no content for educational purposes. Uh, here we have um, English open educational resources pre-installed which needs an 80 gigabyte disk drive. Here the same in Spanish and French, they also need 80. And here for 62-bit machines we have uh, pre-configured 80 gigabyte, 160 gigabyte and 250 gigabyte this with English educational resources. They are not filled completely, so uh, it's about 160 gigabyte here, but it will not fit on the 
160 gigabyte disk drive so we said you have to use uh, 250 and in our case we take the smallest 32 bit we don't want to wait too long and it is necessary to open the folder with the image files it's not enough to navigate here so click here and say open and then you get here uh, the confirmation that you selected the correct disk drive. Each computer gets a so-called host name. We use numbers. They are the identical numbers as in our online database. So when you register each laptop, if you tag it, um, then you will get this number. If you know it already now, you can edit here and uh, the host name will be set correctly automatically by the script. Um, if not, you can modify the host name later on. You get the confirmation. This disk will be not shredded. As already said, it should be shredded, but for the tutorial we just uh, pass that. So it's otherwise it will be a very long video. Um, selected image and host name. Okay. Now the computer is starting to inform the kernel that there are changes. It will prepare the disk. And now you see um, the process of installation. It will take about three, four minutes. Um, but that will depend on the size of the image, of the speed of your machine, uh, of the speed of your disk drive or network. So it may last. 30 minutes, one hour, two hour. It depends um, on the hardware environment which you are using. I will be back in a few minutes and then we go through the final steps of the installation. So here's uh, so here we are back again. So here we are back again, and these are the final minutes of the installation process. Just a few seconds to go, and after that, the partition will be adapted to the size of the disk, and then you can shut down the system and reboot. There will be just some final checks if the installation process went well. And after that you will get an information that the cloning finished successfully, hopefully. And this is the information that the process finished successfully. You can close it and shut down the system. Thank you very much for watching and have fun with the uh, LabDo educational uh, solution.